Learning target 25 is again about calculating work. This time uh, they're specifying that we're going to be using the dot product to calculate work for some object that's moving in two dimensions, not just one dimension anymore. Uh, so the dot product is just a vector operation and we can write out work as r dot f. Now the, the dot product is a way to get a, uh, a scalar uh, result when we combine these, these two forces, these two, uh, sorry, not forces, but vectors. Um, we can think of the dot product as the projection of one uh, of these, uh, um, these vectors along the dimension of another. So if you drew that out, you might think of this as um, like considering this, this R vector to be uh, the ground and then if we had the sun right above the ground we could see that we would get a projection along that vector like this. Uh, and so the, uh, um, the work or the dot product of these two vectors is going to have a value of, uh, that's equal to the magnitude of that little red arrow that I've drawn in there. Um, so, you know, we're, we're pretty familiar with vectors at this point, so you understand that to calculate that it would just be the, um, you know, we would just use the cosine of the angle. Um, now the, the dot product is going to have the form of uh, uh, the magnitude of the two vectors times the cosine of the angle. Uh, sorry, cosine of the angle. Let's just keep that general for this step. Um, and then we can plug in and we get work is equal to that'd be 10 meters magnitude of R and 35 newtons is the magnitude of F and cosine of 50 degrees, the angle between those two. And so work then is going to be equal to about 225 joules on this one. And again, work is a scalar value, not a vector, so no direction needed on that.